Continue. The spot where his statue is erected is exactly where he stood and delivered his independence speech on the eve of 6 March 1957. And at that time, Ghana was the first country south of the Sahara to get independence from the British. So among the things he said on that day was that, quote, the independence of Ghana would be meaningless unless it was linked with a total liberation of the African continent. And that it was time to prove to the whole world that given the same opportunity, the black man was also capable of managing his own affairs, end of quote. And among those who were here to witness it was Dr. Matulita King Jr. He was part of the crowd that witnessed our independence declaration in 1957. It's actually a bronze statue of him molded in Italy. And his posture is expressing the political slogan of a party he formed. He has a party called CPP, which means Convention People's Party. Unfortunately, it's now a minority party. And their slogan is forward ever, backwards, backwards never. never. Yes. So his right hand outstretched is also expressing the political slogan of his party. Now these other ones, let's call them the humblers. These ones are expressing an aspect of Ghanaian traditional culture. Especially in the southern part of Ghana, when there's a festival or a big occasion and a chief of the king is coming, often we have some of his servants who will lead him as praise singers, blow the horns to announce the arrival of the king or chief. Similarly, when a prominent person dies here, traditionally, horns are blown to announce the person's death. So symbolically, the same is being done for him here. But the only difference is that they blow the horns in real life while standing. But here they are kneeling because they are giving him reverence or honor. And when you count them to, we have seven of them on each side of the walkway. To us, the number seven represents the perfection of creation. It's biblical to us. Unfortunately, the, the pond is not filled up yet, but when it's filled up, we have fount um, fountains flowing all over, some even coming from the horns they are holding. So let's walk towards the statue whilst we take our pictures. And I'm sure in front of the statue or other steps, we're gonna take a group photo right there. So let's come this way. This family, this is my favorite place. Been here 15 times on all the journeys of a lifetime that we've been here. We've never missed coming to Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park, an ideal park dedicated to a true legend, a true Pan-African, a true revolutionary, you know, a true warrior, a true a great leader who, you know, is like, we just got to get back to that essence of leadership, essence of just, you know, organizing our people and being about, you know, our whole continent and our diaspora.